Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 20 at chapter 9. Chapter 9 is about linear momentum. As this one we can see, we can see the two-stage rocket. It included two parts, MA and MB. Each part is equal of mass, right? The mass is given. And the initial is have the same velocity. It sticks together, the same velocity. And then suddenly it breaks into two parts. A part and B part A and part B. And then the only thing we know is the relative velocity between them is 2.8 times 10 power 3 meter per second. So we can write the final velocity for part A is VA plus. And the final velocity for part B is VB plus. And VB plus equal to VA plus minus relative velocity. This is the only thing we know. So now the thing is, can you find the Final velocity for each one, yes. We can see for this rocket breaks into two parts. No external force act on this rocket. That means the momentum is conserved, agree? So initial momentum equals to final momentum. Then we can input the known quantities inside. So this one, and we input it because it's mass times V, right? Because MA is half of mass, MB half of mass. But VA equal to VB is V, so MV. And then this one we input is MA, and then this one we input MB. M divided by 2, and then input the VB plus is VA plus minus the relative velocity. Finally, we can get VA plus in this equation. And then input the known quantities, we get the final answer. Of course, very easily we can get the VB plus. You can see both of them are positive. Positive and initial velocity v is also positive. And the question tell you this uh, initial velocity is away from the earth. Do you agree? Away from the earth is positive. And after our calculation, we find VA plus and VB plus, both of them positive. So that means both of them away from earth. Agree? The second problem asks you how much energy was supplied by this explosion. So that means we need to find a change of kinetic energy. Do you agree? So we find the initial kinetic energy, final kinetic energy, and the minus, use the final kinetic energy minus initial one, we get a change of kinetic energy. Thank you.